Hello YouTube, um, just a quick update on my overclocking adventure with my Ryzen 2700X. Um, where I stand right now is that my memory is at 3066 megahertz. I can unfortunately not go any higher on this board in this BIOS it seems. I have the 4008 BIOS and it's for the uh, Asus Prime X370 Pro and an important thing with this uh, yeah you can actually see the memory frequency there and the uh, voltages that I'm using for it because I had to use 1.395 volts to get it stable with the the stilt 3200 megahertz safe settings um, so that's what I was going for and as you can see the frequency for the CPU itself is 4150 megahertz and to reach this I have a voltage of 1.325 volts and you may think that this is a bit low but what I did once I had the memory stable I have uh, been focusing on lowering the SOC voltage because uh, one thing that the Ryzen 2000 series does have some issues with is temperatures. So if you can get the temperatures down uh, as much as possible you can also potentially reach higher. So what I did is when the memory was stable I lowered um, the SOC voltage as much as I could and then did some stability testing in OCCT to make sure that it's stable and I landed on 0 0.9 volts pretty much exactly and then as far as the volt goes it's 1.325 volts for a frequency of 4150 megahertz and my temperatures that I'm reaching during stress testing is about 70 degrees on T die which is the actual if you look in um, HW info 64 you should look at the T die temperature because that is the actual temperature um, that your core is outputting so uh, that is the temp temperature that you need to consider I, sh I could probably go higher but the thing is that I'm the way it stands right now I'm happy with this balance of performance and power because like I said with my water cooling rig the um, it doesn't go over 70 degrees and it still gives me a slight performance boost in games because um, when I was gaming and I didn't overclock the temperatures were hovering right around 4 gigahertz but now it's uh, 4150 megahertz and it's stable on all cores so there's a slight bump and uh, that is good for me and I think I got a Cinebench score of um, what was it 1854 points 1854 points something like that uh, I can probably make another video soon about the scores in that I will say that I'm probably going to try and get this higher but the way it stands right now with this uh, 4008 BIOS I can't really get any higher without cranking the voltage which yields pretty much insane temperatures so that's not something that I want to pursue right now but I will definitely be posting more videos later on this channel regarding the updating I should say that the cooling that I'm using for this is the Kraken x62 which uh, yeah it's an AIO cooler and yes the uh, the logo is mounted weird but that's because the, the tubes I want them to come out on the top so that's that's basically that and yeah until next time um, as usual if you haven't heard, I make 8-bit music, and I will post a link to that in the video description, so check that out, like, comment, subscribe, what is your overclocking results?
with the 2000 series Ryzen that would be interesting to know like what temperatures what voltages and what frequencies can you be reaching and definitely check out my music and see you next time bye